talk about multi-category fairness and sponsored search auctions, and this was joint work with Christina Elvento and Shu Chichala. So like the previous talk, I'm gonna be talking about um, <laughs> skewed delivery and online advertisement and how we might solve that. So there's been empirical evidence of people from different um, racial and gender groups seeing differing amounts of ads in sensitive categories like employment and housing. Um, and as the previous talk mentioned, this can happen even when the advertiser targeting parameters are inclusive um, and reasonable. So um, for example, if the advertisers are gender neutral and they're targeting, this can still lead to skewed delivery in ads. So while the previous talk was looking at ways that the advertisers can adapt their bidding strategies to solve this, we um, look at the alternate approach of actually modifying the platform mechanism. So in this, from this perspective, uh, unfairness is arising solely because of the way that the platform mechanism interacts with competition between the advertisers. So the goal of our work is to create a fairness framework that eliminates skewed delivery so that the platform mechanism is no longer injecting um, skew into the system. So we consider a simple stylized model where users arrive to the platform um, sequentially in an online fashion. So each user has a single ad slot and advertisers are each placing bids on every user as the user arrives. So now the platform is, the goal of the platform's allocation algorithm is to figure out how to divide up this slot between the advertisers. So that is the platform um, assigns each advertiser a potentially zero or non-zero allocation probability for every user for every slot. Now what fairness is gonna mean in this setting is we want the allocation to be fair across different users. Basically so um, to avoid people from different groups seeing differing amounts of ads. So for this work, the starting point for our fairness definition is individual fairness. So let's just focus on one advertiser for a moment. What individual fairness says is that similar individuals should be treated similarly. So let's imagine this is like a jobs advertiser. Um, so now what similarity might mean is uh, dependent, might be dependent on the qualification of users for that job. So individual fairness basically takes some sort of externally specified qualification metric over users into account, and then requires that um, two people who, like similar people with respect to that metric, see the ad with similar probabilities. So in particular, the difference in probabilities that two people see the ad is bounded by the fairness metric distance between those two users. So the way I describe this uh, is just for one advertiser, but in our setting, we have uh, many different advertisers. So recent work proposed um, a notion called multiple task fairness that generalizes this to many different advertisers. So in particular, individual fairness is enforced for each advertiser in each dimension. So the idea is advertisers might be from different categories, um, and the probability that two users see um, that any given ad is bounded by the distance metric for the category that that ad is in. <coughs> so what we show in this work is that this definition is actually sometimes too strong and sometimes too weak from a fairness perspective. And then based on these issues, we propose new fairness definitions and consider platform allocation algorithms that are fair with respect to these new definitions. So I'm gonna go over some of the issues with this definition to give a sense of what could go wrong. Okay. So to see that multiple task fairness can be too strong when advertisers are in different categories, let's consider a housing ad and a jobs ad and pre-users. So Jack is qualified for both housing and jobs, um, but Bob is only qualified for housing and Alice is only qualified for jobs. Now Jack's allocation is gonna split up his ad slot between um, to see housing with some probability and jobs with some probability. No matter how this is split, because Jack and Bob are equally qualified for housing, Bob is going to need to see housing ads with the same probability as Jack. And Alice is gonna to need to see job ads with the same probability as Jack. So now one of these probabilities is gonna to need to be at most 50%. So either Bob is gonna to need to see housing ads or Alice is gonna to need to see job ads with at most a 50% probability. And this 50% can be made arbitrarily small. So this Intuitively, that multiple task fairness is imposing too str uh, stringent of a fairness constraint to, for this to be useful for the, any of the users. So actually, within each category, multiple task fairness has the opposite problem. 
So let's consider four job advertisers, two of which are for high pay job ads and two of which are for low paying job ads. And then two users who are relatively similar for the jobs metric, but not identical. So maybe we require that their difference in probabilities is at most 20%. So now, an allocation that would satisfy multiple task fairness would, um, could assign Alice a 40% chance of seeing each of the two high-paying job ads, and Bob only a 20% chance. So now the issue is that these differences compound, so Alice is going to see a high-paying job ad with a much higher probability than Bob sees a high-paying job ad. So intuitively, individual fairness is violated for the subcategory of high-paying jobs. So somehow enforcing individual fairness on each dimension in the way multiple task fairness does is not quite right here. OK, so in our work, we provide a fairness framework that uh, resolves some of these issues. So in particular, we handle the different categories and within each category case a little bit differently and propose fairness definitions um, that resolve some of the issues I mentioned before. And then with these fairness definitions in place, we design platform allocation algorithms that achieve fairness and also a high platform utility, which is some proxy for the quality of the allocation. OK, so between categories, uh, as I mentioned, multiple task fairness can be too uh, stringent in the way that the metrics interact between categories. So we instead pivot to envy freeness and require that users specify some subset of categories where they need to prefer their allocation over anyone else's. Um, and this resolves some of the issues that I mentioned before. And then within each category where multiple task fairness was too weak, so we had that high paying job ads example, we proposed a stronger notion that we call total variation fairness, which is basically requiring individual fairness on every single subset of advertisers. So we get these guarantees with respect to subcategories. Um, and then we combine these fairness notions to give compositional fairness. So there are more details on these fairness definitions in the paper. Um, but then with these fairness definitions in place, we then design allocation algorithms that are fair when the advertisers behave fairly. And the condition for advertisers behaving fairly can be audited by a, a third party. Um, and our algorithms are going to achieve a high utility compared to the unfair optimal. So it's really achieving a high quality allocation. And our algorithms also don't require the platform to know the specifics of the fairness requirements. So what this means is if the fairness requirements have some sensitive information about the users, the platform doesn't need to know the specifics. And um, if the platforms, because the platform's uh, allocation is guaranteed to be fair as long as the advertisers behave fairly. OK, thank you. All the details on this are in the paper.